very funny guy. You, you might have saw him last week, tearing it up, making us laugh. All the way from Muskogee, he can be heard on the mic at the Frog Wild Saloon. We got Jay Burr. fuck with people looking at him instead of looking at him and going, hi. I just look at him dead in their face and go, hi! Really fucks him up. Like, Jesus, shit! Did that big, burly motherfucker just, what the fuck? Yeah. I do that every time drunk bitches come up to my DJ booth. I love doing that shit. They come over drunk as shit. <laughs> and I just kind of look at him all serious and go, Fine. Like a what the fuck? Then I just look at him and go, "But they go from there? And they share some fun, monsieur." And they're like, "Holy shit!" And then I tell you, we turn the subtitles on. They're like, "You got subtitles? Fuck yes, I got subtitles. I also have a goddamn pink dragon under my DJ boots. Want to see it?" <laughs> Drunk people are fun to fuck with. I'm telling you, love it. I used to be an alcoholic, and I guess that's kind of why I know that drunk people are fun to fuck with, because people used to fuck with me all the time. They'd be like, it's Sammer! Sammer! Yeah, catch that fucking squirrel over at Squirrel's Fair. Fuck, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. I used to hate squirrels, because, yeah, I went camping one year. Evidently, it's not a good idea to leave banana nut bread and shit out on your picnic table. Come out of a tent, there's like 70 squirrels. I'm like, shit, we're under attack! What the fuck? Yeah. It was fucking traumatizing, I'm telling you. I was like seven or some shit. I didn't know squirrels didn't attack. I mean, fuck. It was fun as shit, though. Next thing you know, I found out that, you know, squirrels were kind of like rats with bushy tails, and I was like, ew! The squirrels are rats with bushy tails. And my granddad told me, he says, yep, but they taste good fried. And I said, you eat those? He said, yeah, we do. And I was like, fuck. You eat the cool little squirrel thing? He says, y'all see what the fuck we do with Thumper? I said, no. He said, and Bambi? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you talk about being traumatized, Harold. <laughs> my, uncle used to kick, used, my uncle used to kick my ass all the time for stupid shit, you know? Be like, boy, you gotta act up, be a man. You gotta be a man. Yeah. I said, what? So I'm not a man if I don't skin animals and eat them? No. Men skin animals. I said, fuck that. They stink. It makes me want to puke. I got a weak stomach and shit, yo. <laughs> it's one of the reasons that I'm not the janitor at the bar. If I gotta clean up some drunk bitch's puke, it'd make me puke. That's why I always go, janitor! Get right over yonder. I gotta get away from it. I can't smell it. I'll do it too. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we're driving on the way up here and talking about this and that and this and that. And part of what I was talking about last week about the transvestite strippers came up, and I got asked. I was like, "Man, what about those hermaphrodite people?" I was like, "What's that?" He was, "Oh, man, you only got the." the you know, they got the in and the out. And I was like, man, I don't know. He says, man, you don't know if you can do that? And I was like, I don't know. He goes, man, I, at first I'd be like, hold up a second. There's a dick there. There's a dick there. There's a, there's a pussy. I can work with this. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I know, right? Now my biggest fear would be like, you know, you get done doing it, and then she'd be like, all right, now it's my turn, bitch. <laughs> Dude, what? Hell no! <laughs> yeah. I had a question of uh, when the zombie apocalypse kicks off. Yeah. What's going to be my weapon of choice? I said a fucking Ford F-150, motherfucker. They said, why? I said, because at 70 miles an hour, there ain't shit stopping me. 
They said, well, what if it's like on the movies and there's like congestion on the highways? One of those big trucks is going to have keys in it. It's going to have gas in it. Fuck gas upgrade. It's like a video game, man. You don't just, oh, I'm going to start with a 357 and that's the only thing I'm ever going to use to kill zombies. Fuck no, man. Search around. Look around for possible weapons. Oh, yeah. Baseball bat? Hell yeah. Ten points. Cha-ching! I'm telling you right now. Have y'all seen the movie Zombieland? Yeah! I love that fucking movie. Love that fucking movie. The only thing I ask is this right here, okay? They're wanting to kill zombies. In order to kill them, you have to in the head, right? Why are they not gathering up all those fucking knives, spears, and hatchets at the Indian store? They're like killing drums with a fucking hatchet. And I'm like, hold up a second, dude. You can kill a zombie with that. And then at the same time, I'm going, well, hang on. You, know, you, you do got to relieve stress, I guess. But at the same time, I'd be like, fuck that. Weapons, bitch. <laughs> fuck your Twinkie. I want weapons. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Twinkies. I want my Twinkies back. Aww. It's like, I heard that Hostess is going out, and I went, fuck no. No! Fat people everywhere went into a fucking deep depression going, fuck. <laughs> no more ding dongs. No more ho hos. <laughs> Goodbye, Twinkie. I sat in my bedroom for three days straight in the dark crying. It was traumatizing, you know? People say, yeah, man, it's traumatizing. I'm like, yeah, you don't understand, though. I'm fucking fat. I miss Twinkies, man. You could put magic shell on a Twinkie and it was like the best snack ever. Oh my God. Magic shell. You know the magic shell? You put that on, a, on your ice cream and it turns into a heart shell? Yeah. We would take our Twinkies and we would put them in the freezer and let them get really cold, put magic shell on All of a sudden, bam, chocolate covered Twinkie. I mean, I'll tell you right now. Make my blood sugar go through the roof. Hell yes. I'm kind of glad I'm not diabetic, because if I was diabetic, fuck, I'd be in the hospital like seven months out of the year. They'd be like, Jay, what are you back for this time? <sighs> Snickers, peanut butter squares. Don't you know you're not supposed to eat those? Yes, I know, but they're so fucking delicious. They said, well, maybe you should change your diet. No, they're so delicious. If they ever told me I couldn't have any sugar in my life, I'd be like, yeah, right. I got really fucked up at a young age, and I have a heart condition. And my cardiologist said, well, son, we're going to need you to eat better. Cut out the sugars. I said, okay, I'll try to cut down on the sugar. But I'll put like half the sugar in my tea that I used to. And we're going to need you to cut out transient fats. I'm like, what the fuck is a transient fat? Oh, the big one? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's call it a fat transsexual right there. <laughs> yeah, transient fat. I don't know what the fuck a transient fat is. I, I don't know what half the fucking shit is on that chart anyway. All I know is when that doctor looked at me and he said, and you may need to stop eating bacon. And I looked at him and said, if you ever say that to me again, I will fucking stab you in the eye with one of these fucking lollipop sticks you got here. He goes, what? I said, dude. Don't ever tell me I can't have bacon. Bacon is the best thing ever invented. Yeah! Yeah. Hey, I found out the other day, man. It's like, you know, bacon is good on everything. It's good on salad. Mmm, bacon. It's good on cheeseburgers. Mmm, bacon. Fucking bacon's good on ice cream. I tell you right now, give me a double dip of Rocky Road with extra bacon, bitch. Sir, don't you know that's kind of fatty? I don't give a fuck. Make what I told you, ice cream girl. <laughs> yeah. I always thought it was kind of funny that, you know, I was talking about Jersey Shore earlier. When they went down to Miami, they were working in an ice cream shop. I was going, oh shit. No wonder Snooky gained 17 pounds the first week they were there. Like, fuck, you put me on that show, put me in an ice cream shop. I'm telling you right now, like a big five-gallon tub is coming up missing every other weekend. 
You wanna see me? Shit, fuck going to the club. Hey, yo, Jay, we're going clubbing tonight. Fuck you, I got hot in us. I used to live in Miami. I'm gonna tell you right now, Miami is a town that does not ever, ever sleep. And it's really kind of cool because I'm a little bit of an insomniac, so yeah, it worked great for me. Until I found out that the further south you go and you don't know Spanish, whoa. I got like down in the very tip of Florida and I got out the fucking taxi cab with a bunch of my friends and we're drunk. And I'm like, man, this is fucking amazing. Fabulous. Fabulous. And my friend said, dude, did you drink the rest of that bottle? I said, this is it. He goes, well, that must be why. I said, what's wrong? He goes, dude, I think we're the only white people around. I looked around and I was like, holy fuck, it looked like Cuba. I was like, man. I love they got sugar chongas here. He said, dude, that's Mexican, not Cuban. And I said, well, fuck, that both fucking speak Spanish. Tell them to make a fucking semi-sounder. Well, before too long, I go off into a bar, and I find out real quick that knowing Spanish is a good thing, because I don't know what the fuck it said over the door, but when I got in there, oh yeah, I found out real quick, like, I went to a Spanish gay bar. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, you know, I mean, this is the crazy thing. I mean, I'm a sexy motherfucker. Gay people tell me all the time I'm a sexy motherfucker. I love that. Hey, no. Let, well, you don't, but... Other gay people think I'm fucking sexy. I can go to a gay bar right now and drink all night long for free. I love that. Hey, hey, hey. Just because their glasses look like fucking binoculars don't mean shit, okay? I know, right? But I stagger into this Spanish gay bar. I don't understand what none of these guys were saying, but I must have been fucking looking good that night because they kept handing me their phone numbers. And they kept putting drinks in front of me. And my friends said, dude, we gotta go. And I was like, oh no, we ain't gotta go. Free drinks, bitch. So roughly about a half gallon of tequila later, yeah, I wind up leaving with my friends. We go to a place called Orlando. I woke up out in front of Epcot Center going, where in the fuck are my pants? Yeah! And it was then that I realized that if you get caught anywhere around Disney World and you don't have your pants on, nobody really notices. <laughs> Love that shit. I miss Florida. It's like the only place in the world that you can get a rock and roll show, a comedy show, and an opera in the same fucking building, okay? And I didn't exactly understand how that went out, but I mean, you know, wow. Then I figured out one thing, I mean, it was a, uh, what do they call it, shit, theme park? Yeah, I hate theme parks. Because I always feel that I'm underdressed for whatever theme that they're going with. Yeah. Last time I went to a theme party at the theme parks, they said, we're having pirate night. And I thought, all right, pirate night. So I tried to dress pirate. I show up and they go, dude, didn't you get the memo? And I said, what memo? They said, they changed the theme. And I said, really? I was like, so I'm dressed as a pirate. What's the theme? They said, Space Odyssey. I went, fuck. So I ran across the street to the hardware store, grabbed me a fucking fishbowl, put it on top of my head, and came back and said, Army! <laughs> Almost space pirate! He <laughs> said, so you're a space pirate? Yeah, I'm a space pirate. I said, you also sound like you're Scottish too. I'm like, fuck. I've been drinking scotch. It was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. <laughs> that marijuana gets legalized nationwide. All right, these motherfuckers that clap, thank you. The motherfuckers who didn't clap, bullshit. <laughs> I walked by you all ago and you smelled like reefer, I know it. Yeah. Either that or him. Oh, no, it ain't me this time, shit. 
I had a psychiatrist tell me that if marijuana was legal in Oklahoma, we would prescribe it to you. And I said, really? I said, yeah. He said, well, I said, why? 